Speaker, ladies and gentlemen of the House, <clears throat> it's pretty hard to find things to agree on lately. That's why it seems ironic that the one thing we can all agree on is that we can rarely agree. That we as a country, we as a state, we as a body are divided. And people are angry. People are scared. And people are divided. Now, on its face, I understand why this bill to address hateful actions against others is supposed to be the antidote to that. <clears throat> but that is exactly what makes this bill so frustrating to me. Who are we to decide which groups get to be protected under the law, if not all groups? Who are we to decide who should and should not be safe against hate crimes? Who are we to pick and choose? Legislation like this cynically pits groups against each other instead of uniting to take a stand against all hate and all discrimination. We should use the power of this body to take a stand against hate. We should use the power of this body to take a stand against division. And now more than ever, what we do in here sends a message into a divided world. And if that message further divides us, we have to work to stop it. I am so proud to stand up for unity and against this divisive legislation.